I've always wanted to translate humanized experiences and make the most mundane moments beautiful. So it's always about that connection. Growing up in New York has always been like a defiant thing to find your individualism. And through photography, I can show who I am on the outside, but then you can see a different perspective. Especially when it comes to New York City. It's just as much as about love as it's about family for me. So there's a way that I want to document it. There's a way that I feel the world should see certain parts of it. Good looks, I really appreciate y'all. I don't like to overcomplicate the process, so if I'm going out to shoot, I'll try to keep it with one lens. For this case, I'm using the uh, 24 to 70. Ooh, that was fire. So understanding your lens setup is like understanding like your vision in a way. That's the way you're perceiving the world. That focal length changes everything. He's trying to get some speed. Nowadays, I like shooting things a little bit wider. Create more of these grander kind of scenes. I've always been a fanboy for G-Master lenses. They're sharp, they're fast. So especially how I like to really be in the moment, it just enhances how you want to communicate that story. My life before photography was kind of all over the place. It was kind of chaotic. It was. It was kind of lost. And everything that my pops taught me, the way that he raised me, it was like, you had to do what you love. And photography was the first time that I felt like I was in control of my life. It was this obsession, it was like this hunger to just keep on finding ways to communicate deeper with not only myself, but with the audience that I'm trying to share the work with. These are the homies, longtime friends, and this 85 is, it just has a really good range for me to get close and to do like these intimate portraits especially through these moments that you can have with the other creatives. We started together, we validated each other. We were there to not only support each other through photos, but like through real life. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. This is like a real creative hub in New York. Shout out Steve for being the reason that we're all here. I just want to say that I really love you all. After losing my pops, it was uh, a big thing for me to reestablish what my family is, and then I see everyone as you as my family. So, <laughs> through photography, I found a family, and I found myself. This is the first time I've actually found something I really love. And that transcended pretty much everything.